another one, eh? Another fine one there. Many thanks, Mrs. H. Glasses on today because I'm going to show you this um, uh, new razor, the last product which was sent from uh, Felix. So thank you so much again, Felix, for this. Um, so how are you doing? How's Sunday? Well, a bit early to say if you're watching this first thing. I hope you have a great day. Hope you're having a great weekend and you've had a good week. Uh, not just in life, but in health and all that sort of stuff. I hear that wind outside? I don't know if you can pick it up. Um, yeah, so I hope everything's okay. Right. Rockwell 6C um, comes in this box. And as you know, I've got the Rockwell Model T, very kindly sent to me again. You see me use that. But this is the Rockwell 6C. Now there is the 6S, which is the stainless steel version. This is not the stainless steel. Um, but I'll show you the razor now, but every other functionality is the same. And it comes, this is the razor itself, 6C. Um, very nice. I think it's some form of alloy it's made of. And it's the base plate there comes, well you may know, comes with three, three base plates. Ranging from one, if I can find it. R1, that's the most um, mildest setting. Then you've got on this plate R2, that's the next one up. <laughs> then you've got R3, which is there. And then R4 should be on this one here. R4. And then R5 and 6 is on here. Now, it's a three piece. When it's together like this, it's non adjustable because it's just the one. Um, but what you do, take, take it apart. And sometimes you can have a confusion with these. You think, well, if I put, if I want the R6, which is the most aggressive of these three plates, do I put it on like that? If you can see this, R6, there we go. Do you put it on like that? Or do you put it on like that? Well, the correct way is if you want R6 aggression, the most aggression, it has to be visible on the plate. So when you put it together like that, if you can see the number, whatever number you can see, that is the aggression. Okay. So I've been asked to, in, in the comments, if I would do a, a comparison between the 6S, I think it was, um, or the 6C, you could do it, against the Edwin Jagger 316. Well, I'll do that in another video. I just want to use this razor for itself today. Um, so I'm going to use a brand new Wilkinson sword blade in this. Uh, nothing wrong with that cloud blade, could have used that, but uh, I've never used this before. I'm going to use it with a few of its uh, base plates. So there's the head. Brand new blade, Wilkinson sword on topic. And thank you for the blades, Felix. He sent these as well, the Rockwell blades. We'll use them in future um, shaves. So we'll put the most aggressive, wow, look at the gap there, wow. The R6. And then we'll put it together. And we'll get on with it. Just wanted to say that, just if it helps somebody. Very slight overhang. There is overhang there, so it is slight. You have to still be careful with it. But uh, what a nice looking razor. Good weight to it as well. Okay. Can the glasses come off? Yeah, well, I'll be using um, Crown King Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Sundown. Somebody else asked, could you use Sundown in the future? Not the future razor, in the future shave. So, yes, we're going to use that today. This isn't the CK6 formula. This is the first sort of lot they made. Beautiful scent, very woody. Um, there's a hint in this, I don't know if it's intentional, to Old Spice. You know that, that sort of woody, spicy scent, lovely. Not gonna bloom it. I'm using the Paul H Films brush. That's been just soaking in the water there. But yeah, we'll lather up first. Don't too much water, because we can always add it. We lather from the puck. 
So, as I always say, what's the plans today then? You're gonna have a nice shave? You're heading out? You're working? Thank you. That's more than enough. So all we'll do now is rinse this ugly mug and then keep going. Warm water. Warm to hot. Right. Look at this, every time it's <laughs> messy. Right. Wow. Yeah, definite. If you close your eyes and you lathered with this, you wouldn't say it's Old Spice, but you'd say, oh, it's similar to Old Spice there. There's a hint there. Very nice. Look at that. And that's without blooming it. It's a crope. Not a hard soap, it's not a cream. Like a fudge texture. Well, yes, yes. Hardish fudge texture. So there we go. Place that there. Tidy up. Can you hear that wind? Wow. We'll heat the Rockwell 6 here. And again, I'm using the plate uh, number 6, which is its most aggressive with a brand new Wilkinson sword for the first pass. Here we go. Wow, that's a nice razor. That's a nice aggressive. It's aggressive. But it's a nice aggression, if that makes sense. You can feel it, feel the blade, but it feels lovely, tight, everything, yeah. But we're on the first pass here, so we've got a bit of protection. Um, good slickness from this soap. I've used it before. Good quality, the razor feels very nice. It's got a diamond knurling handle, so there's good grip. So, yeah, you can feel that blade. I'll show you this. Uh, hopefully, this will show you if it picks it up. You can see the blade gap, can you? I can't see anything here. There we go. Hopefully, you'll see that gap. Um, very nice, very nice, feels solid, good thick head on it and base plate, so that's nice, nice first pass, very reminiscent to Old Spice that, really nice. As I say, I'm not sure if that's intentional, but that's what comes to my no, straight away. Really slick soap. They have improved the formula, as you all know, because it was the CK6. But this is nothing wrong with this. Wow. Okay. We'll add a bit of water to the brush. Excellent brush, this. Lathers up in no time. 
is not greedy with the soap. There we go. Really nice. Are you doing a meal today? If you're home, you going out for a meal? I'm doing a Sunday roast. I uh, had a Sunday brunch last week. Right, I'm going to take this apart. I'm not going to go to the next lower one, which is um, this one. If I wanted to go, what's this one now? This is five and six. So we'll go to four. So this is the next plate. And this is four and two, I think it is. Four number two. So they're made in sort of odds and evens, but it looks like so. Number four there, so we're four aggression. So we've just used number six, the most aggressive. Um, should have gone to number three, really. Halfway, yeah, we'll change it again. We'll go to number three. We'll do it in the f down there. Wait a minute. Yeah, three. That's the next plate. We'll go to number three. So we've got six, three, one. And everything else in between. Give us an idea what this razor is capable of, so I'll heat that up again. I'm doing a roast, I'm doing pork chops. Um, good offer on them in the shop. Yeah, so that's brought it down now. Still a nice aggression, though. Judging by memory now. I would say, for me personally, on this blade, setting four, I haven't used four, I've used six and I've used three. Now judging on that, I would say number four on this would match the Edwin Jagger 316. Uh, some may say the three, but I would say the four for me. So um, to compare aggressions, just cutting off the story there. Yeah, I'm doing um, roast pork chops, Now these shouldn't go with pork, it's meant to go with beef, but I've got a couple of Yorkshire puddings I'm going to do. I'm doing sage and onion stuffing, and I'll just have them as a little ball roasted uh, alongside the chops. And lashentos of gravy. Now the sad thing is there's no skin on these chops they didn't have any in so they've taken the, I don't know why they do that but um, the weird thing is they take the rind off and they put the the price goes up if they leave the rind on they're cheaper to buy <laughs> not always but it's mainly like that it's strange but um, lovely that this So lashentos of gravy with them, and uh, I'm doing mushy peas again. I love them. So uh, roast pork chops, sage and onion stuffing, steamed potatoes, um, mushy peas, and lashings of gravy. That'll do me. And at the moment we've got lashings of lather. Beautiful, very slick. Good protection. Razor feels good quality. Um, working re really well. So we're going to change it again. Take it down to number one. Same blade, of course. So where are we? Uh, two. Oh, it's the same place. Just turn it over. R1. Uh, See that hopefully. Some would say, Oh, it's a bit fiddly, you've got to change all these plates. Well, you don't have to change, I'm just changing in the shave to hopefully give people an idea of it. A um, bit more water again. Go 
Well, that's old spice, then, isn't it? Well, resembling. Very nice. I think it's uh, made something, uh, was it Sun Up something years ago? Sun Up. So it's a sort of a thing off that. But as I say, it, to me, it's a old spice resemblance, hint of old spice in there. Which is nice. Never have too much of that, can we? A scent when I was young, I associated with old men and grandfathers, which was a very nice scent that way, but I'd never wear it myself. Now I feel honoured to wear it, I love it. <laughs> so here we go, setting one now, Rockwell 6C against the growth. Wow, that is mild now. Very mild. Setting one would be a fantastic starter, maybe one or two, if you bought this razor. Start on those. And that's one good thing with buying a razor like this. I've not sent this, by the way. If you think, oh, I'm trying to sell it here. I'm not trying to sell it at all. I'm just using it as a gift. But as we're shaving, and hopefully people have some ideas if they're new to this, and they think, well, I like that razor. It's a I mean, it's a good buy. It's about half the cost of the 6S, I think, which is the stainless steel. Um, wow, does a lovely job. Slickness on this soap is amazing. So much so, it's just about uh, shaving and not sliding over it. Good soap to use with an aggressive razor. But uh, going back to it, with the, like, with the three plates, you know, you could be new to shaving, start with this, use this for weeks and weeks or whatever, and when you think, yeah, good, go a bit higher now, so you don't have to get a new razor, change the plate, uh, if you think of it that way. That's what's good about an adjustable as well. Tell you what, it's taking it right down. Wow, that is, that is one slick soap and that is one mild setting and sometimes they don't go together. A very close shave. going to change it up now I'm going to go to number two because I just need that bit more bite because this is such a slick um, I wanna three such a slick uh, we we'll go to our two soap it's uh, to take long to change them there we go our two I don't know if you can see that but uh, our two it is That's what I'm talking about. We'll leave it on that for pickups. Three, two, one. Pickup time, baby. Wind time, wow. 
if you want to bring your wash in here you'd be quite welcome three two one neck brace time <laughs> same old jokes eh? here we go Very comfortable razor. Yeah, you have to clean that razor. pick up time or overdoing it time that is beautiful cold water rinse wow it's cold as well <laughs> somebody asked about the orange one I like them as well Jill I think it was and thanks for all your comments on the loss of Ellen. Uh, really helpful, thank you so much. And somebody said, um, you've had a rough couple of months uh, losing my mother and then at the end of the year and then losing the cat this the start of the year. Um, and they would understand if I took a break and that's very kind, thank you. But in actual fact, these videos have helped me because I like when something goes wrong, I don't bury my head in the sand. I deal with it. But my way of dealing with things is to deal with them, uh, but do it positively. I always look on the brighter side of what's, you know, you lose something, but think of the good side, what, what they wear, what they mean to you, the memories, the life they had and what, you know, that shared with you sort of thing. Now these videos kept the normality, I like to keep normal, um, like I like to do my work as quick as I can if you know you're supposed to take time off for a bereaved of a loved one, bereavement, but um, for me I, uh, I like to go back to normality, I like a normality that keeps that, you know, that helps me, so doing these videos is a very therapeutic and gives me normality, so you know that's why I carry on in case some people think God, oh, how can you film these shaves when you... that's me you know some people are different we're all different but that's my way of looking at it and it really helps this is my own tea tree mixture tea tree oil and um, witch hazel give it a shake clouds up beautiful I should have used the sandalwood really in this but uh, I like this Some people, why do you put witch hazel? Why do you use alum? Well, it calms the skin after you've just used a blade on it. It calms the skin and it's good for the skin. Witch hazel and tea tree oil. So that gives that bit of nourishment, should we say? That's the shave. Lovely. Then we're going to go with sundown after shave splash. Ooh, hey, that's more like old spice in the soap. I can't believe we. Hang on. Oh, that beautiful! Wow, that old spice there. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what it's based on. To me, that is old spice. Wow. Well done. Whew. That's close. Bit of a burn there. But a nice burn. Wow. Okay. Is it menthol in that? 
had to know, but yes, there is menthol in it. Hang on. Oh, there's alum in this. So really, you could do away with the witch hazel bit. There's alum in that. Don't know how much alum is in it, but uh, that would be suffice. Help if I read the label first. I've used it before. You don't read labels, do you? You just get on with it, don't you? <laughs> you need to use it. Right, then we're going down the uh, inexpensive route, Creighton's um, post shave balm. I got this, I think, one of the, I think it was Home Bargains, which is a shop in the UK, like a, well, not quite a pound shop, but that type of, you know, thing. Yeah, not a bad mixture. Not a bad mixture. And I'll go with that. So, thank you, Felix, for the Rockwell 6C um, double-edged razor with three base plates ranging from one mildest to six most aggressive. I've used six the first pass. Um, we've used three on the second pass, one against the growth. Um, and then I went up to two for the pickup time because it just needed, because the soap's so slick. And that was so mild and one, I needed to step it up. Brand new Wilkinson salt blade, always works well for me. God, there's some menthol in that. Old spice menthol, fantastic. <laughs> and uh, really nice. Then we've used the Paul H Film synthetic brush with a citrine handle. Uh, Ken Surfs has tried this now, so many thanks Ken, glad you liked it. Um, good idea that, I think he's using Kevy shaves and people like that next. Good idea that. Um, we've used Sundown Shaving Soap, lovely stuff. Um, cold Welsh Water, Witch Hazel and Tea Tree Oil, which I mix myself. Um, Sundown Aftershave Splash, and these two, to me, are just Old Spice. Fantastic, lovely. And whoever you were suggested that, I'm glad you did. No, thank you, I forgot about that. And then the Creighton uh, Post Shave Balm. Really happy. What a start of the day. What an end to the week. So I hope you good health as always. Have some fantastic shaves. Have a great weekend. Whatever you're doing, stay safe. And um, yeah, enjoy life. And I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Take care.